Ooh, it's daytime. Carnegie Hall. Museum. Ooh, there's Central Park. I don't see the Empire State Building. Or I'm not sure. Let's go. We'll just go to the museum. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Dr. Clamp? <laughs> Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, yeah, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something. But it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great! He sounds wonderful. We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Can't be bailing you out. Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah! Daniel, why do you kiss the officer's butt? You joined you joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah! But that was years ago. Now he's my boss. I wasn't anticipating doing any voice work. But I guess, I guess I am. American Museum. The American Museum of Natural History. It's been a while since I've visited the museum. Ooh. Dinosaurs, the world of dinosaurs. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Might as well turn around. Alright. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. <laughs> she can't she can't do it well because she's not in a dress. Hey there, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. Pretty cold day though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Oh, he sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Well, I gotta check something. That's what I thought. Did he do something? Um, nosy guard? Yeah. <laughs> nah. We just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. You'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. Thanks. He's like a really old guard. Oh, by the way, could you sign in as policy that lets us keep track of who comes in? Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebook's on the counter, thanks. <sighs> Gotta sign in. Yep, that should be enough unless you want to leave your number too. Ah, oh, creepy old guy hitting on us. Why is creepy old dude hitting on us? We signed in, right? Oh, okay, good. I don't want a creepy old guy hitting on me. That's, that's, that's just silly. Hey, Aya. Over here. You mean over here? 
No, I mean over here. Over here? No, over, over here. Over here! Yeah. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Just barging into somebody's office. What the heck, man. Excuse me, hello, hey. Dr. Clamp? Dr. Clamp. I almost wanted to do a really, really, really bad accent. But we'll make him proper. I hear you. We'll do him like George Takei. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, this guy. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. What? This again? What is this? This, this man, I know him, I think. Do you think or do you know? Aya. We need answers. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Yeah, yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would set free, would be set free. Now, do you? That's sus that suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she meant mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. It'll be way over my head. Ha <laughs> ha. You too have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria. <laughs> this is interesting. Mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own. Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something. Ah, I said the name. Parasite. That's an interesting way of describing this fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we are nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain function due to the intersection interaction between axons and dendrites. You're just making those words up, Dr. Clamp. The interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know that mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 V of electricity? I'm, I'm assuming that's volts. This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were... Mitochondria. For a human to burn it and melt, 16,000 degrees of heat must be generated. Now, uh, there are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body begin functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be the simple task with so much en energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right, but uh, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end we're just using them for energy, right? Ha <laughs> ha. You have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Here, just take it. Let me chop it off for you. 
Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. Uh, no. yeah, simplistically, yes. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in this nucleus is cut off and, in essence, dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to the mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. God, he's talking forever. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. Better yet, just re re talk to your ninth grade science teacher. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? <laughs> you're not saying... You're... Wait. But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. Mitochondria. Oh yeah, that's right. That's, that's the Jedi stuff, right? That's what, how Jedis become Jedis. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. <gasps> Let me tell you something. Oh, more. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. <coughs> Pardon me. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. Now, or you know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve! Mitochondria! Eve! Parasites! Parasite Eve! The suspect, the suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, it, if you know anything, you better not be holding, holding back on us. She called herself Eve. Sorry, but I told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain. What the hell's going on here? It's like, she's like punching and throwing his arms up. That's a totally normal way to emote. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. Bleep. God, bleep. Bleep it. Ooh, it's night. We spent all day there. I guess we need to go back to the 17th precinct. Pre precinct? This is good music. Ooh. Light speed engaged. Jesus Christ, this guy's speeding down New York. He should not be driving that fast. Not at all. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him! Uh. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. Daniel, you should really slow down. <laughs> it's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Hey, it looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, Aya. Eh? Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. We're already speeding through New York. We can't go any faster than this. Like, we should have reached the end of Manhattan already. What if Spider-Man just jumped down? It's like, whoa, you're going way too fast. New York City Police Department, 17th Precinct. Hi, Eddie. 
Hey, Aya. Any news on the case? Hope you bag this creep soon. I hate to bump into him in the street. <laughs> I'd be nasty. Be all nasty. Ooh, there's a door. I didn't realize there was a door here. Last time. Maybe this is where my office is. Oh wait, yeah, I did. This is where we get the um, the vest. It's the locker room. Do you have anything to say? The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what's happening. We need to save. So the game starts off like throwing you in the action and then just does this huge like exposition dump on you. There's gotta be a phone in here somewhere. Aha, the one that's blinking. This is a very messy precinct. Will you save? Checking memory card. Do not select slot. Look at that, 92 HP? Mm. So I got stuff. So I think you get more points for um, using stuff, like using your parasite powers. So maybe that's what I need to start doing. Start using those parasite powers. That PP, parasite energy. Hello, this is Detective Baker, Chief Baker. Chill, relaxing music. Oh, look, it's Daniel. Let's go, folks. What? Let's go, folks. We're starting the meeting. That was weird. Take your time, Aya. I'm just gonna gently walk here. Yeah, me too. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for <laughs> Melissa's solo's concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident, and the concert was cancelled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. Melissa's written on the wall. What's that say? Tina? The concert is at Central Park is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park. What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lauren. They're at the concert. What? Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. Hey. Uh, Nix. Myself. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Ooh, another mod permit. Let's go mod our weapon out again. I want all the mods. What? Yeah, Daniel, um, I'll be there in just a second. Huh. Go talk to laid back, laid back. What's his face? When are you gonna let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. Guns aren't meant to be stronger, you silly goose. Sorry, A, I didn't mean to t make a scene, but that goes for you, too. 
You can never be too careful with a gun. Do you have an equipment modification permit with you? Alright. Which gun? Let's do this one again. Ooh. No, I should be able to... Oh no, that's got enough on them. Yeah. Alright, just wait here. Take your time. All said. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. It's the second time he said that. Man, I could do it so much better. I can turn that gun into a cannon easy. You want to leave something here? Nah. Nah. So I have some tools. Can I do anything with them? Do I have some tools? No, I can't do nothing. Tune up weapons and armor. Can I mod? I know that, like, I've seen some speedruns of this game. I know that you can, like, severely break it. Like, it's not hard to break this game with mods. And by see speed speedruns, I mean I put it on and watch, like, the first 15 minutes. And then, uh, just leave it on in the background. Jeez, Daniel. Look, I know your son's in danger and all, but... You need to chill out, buddy. You need to chill out, guy. What the hell does Melissa, uh, no, Eve, want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Dang! That thing's got my boy involved! She's gonna pay for this! Let's hurry! Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you! Central Park. Stupid son's gotta go off and, and try and establish a relationship with me. Ben! Daniel, stop! Don't go any further! I gotta get my boy, rookie! You're just a rookie even though you've been a... Ooh. Whoa! Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. You're like ancient, and I'm like young and hot and a total babe. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. For some reason, I'm just immune to fire. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Well, other than the other family that I got in, in, in Louisiana, but I don't talk about it. I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but, I'll get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. All right, I'm counting on you, A.S. So dramatic. I know. Isn't it great? It's super.